We're going to be walking through how to use a track saw, but it really lets you get down to the millimeter and make super long, precise cuts. So I've got a four by eight sheet here of 12 mil or half inch plywood, and I'm going to be using it to make some drawer bottoms. And so um, I need to cut a piece that is uh, exactly 52.9 centimeters in thickness. So I use a half mil mechanical uh, pencil and I've marked out where that is right here on my board on both sides and when you're using a track saw like this um, the track uh, you want to make sure that you're referencing off of this side and not this side because when you reference off of this side and then measure up to it you're gonna be cutting over the line you're gonna get a piece that's slightly shorter because the blade uh, on these track saws is about an eighth of an inch or three mils. Um, so uh, referencing off of this line right here out to here, now what we do is we take our track saw and you can see here how um, some, I never start the track saw plunge like at the far edge of it, but you've got this little rubber um, piece. And so where that little rubber piece is, is where I'm going to line it up with my mark on both sides and then you have these clamps and these clamps are what hold this thing down as you make your cuts so this thing doesn't drift as you're going down this whole sheet so in my case what i want is i'm going to basically move this thing into that position where i'm happy with it so i'm just lining this up so that it's basically right on the center of that and then with the clamps, you come in and they slide into this groove right here. And they go all the way up to your material. So it's okay to have overhang on this. And then you just clamp it up. And I have a uh, one inch piece of foam underneath this for support. This is obviously not a professional woodworking station, but uh, it's the best I can do. So I'm still happy with where I see that guy. I'm gonna go to the other side of the board and do the same thing. So again, referencing off of this side to here, I've got my mark, 52.9 centimeters. Highly recommend double checking stuff, um, but you're just going to line it up just so that it's right on the center. Like that clamp goes into the track. And I have to drop it a little bit. that is now where I want it to be. So when the blade cuts, it's gonna be removing material to the left of here. So the center of my mark is gonna be preserved, which is the 52.9 centimeters. And that's what it looks like. Now we're ready to put our track saw on. I'm gonna have to plug this guy in. Something I wanna call out is when you put your track saw on, it'll get to that point. And so there's a little, knob here you have to spin to let it move forward otherwise it'll just sit there so turn that and now this is the safety so you push this and then you angle your blade down and you have to adjust the depth uh, and you can see how there's little marks right here so in my case um, for half inch plywood I'm going to be moving this guy up to the half mark and you might want to go a little below it. That's what I'm shooting for. You guys will see how this works, but it, it has a stopper right here. Um, and yeah, so now we're ready to uh, rip this.